All right, guys, since this is a Nintendo Switch tutorial, I'm going to have to read you a disclaimer. This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All content provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Citron emulator on a Windows PC. This is going to work for Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'm going to be leaving you two links in the pinned comment of this video. So one's going to be for my page. So just scroll down until you find the wallpaper of this video. There's going to be a Citron official download page. So click on that. It's going to take you to the official page. It's going to give you an important notice. Uh, piracy is not supported nor leaked. Uh, games due to potential legal reasons. Just go to I understand. Uh, download the latest version. It's going to take you to the mu.org website. Just scroll down until you find the download section. Uh, you're going to look for Citron Windows uh, 0.4.zip. You're going to download the file. This is going to be a zip folder. You're going to have to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR. Now, three things that you're going to need that I'm not going to be providing. One is going to be the prod keys. Uh, two is going to be the latest firmware. So version 19.0.1. And then the Switch games. So for today's example, I'm going to be using uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now to run the emulator, just double click on the folder. You're going to look for the citron.exe file slash application. You're going to double click it. So first thing it's going to ask you is for your keys, encryption keys. So go to OK. Yes. Go over to Tools. Install the encryption keys. Look for your keys folder. So Desktop. Uh, switch Keys. Open. Select the Prod Keys folder. There you go. The encryption keys were successfully installed. Press OK. Now we're going to install the firmware. So I'll go to Tools, Install Firmware, look for your firmware folder. So switch firmware, find your folder. Now it'll install the firmware. It'll take a few seconds. So there you go. It's been installed. So you're on 19.0.1. Now we're going to install the games folder. So you're going to double click on the big plus sign. You're going to look for your games folder. So desktop, switch games, select the folder. So here's my games folder. I got one game. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to set up the controller. I am using the Xbox One S controller. You can also use the Switch controller or the PS4 or PS5 controllers. So go over to emulation. Configure, controls, you're going to select Pro Controller, and then Input Device, it'll be the controller you're using. So for me, it's the Xbox One. So this should already be mapped out for you. Uh, if you want to remap the buttons, just go through it and remap them. Uh, we'll, when you're done, go to OK, and that should save the profile. Uh, next thing we're going to do, go to Configure, Emulation, Configure. Uh, go over to Graphics, API, make sure you choose Vulkan. Device will be your graphics card. Uh, everything else in Graphics Settings is pretty much set. The only one you got to change is the one at the bottom to SMAA. Everything else, you can go through it if you want to change anything, but everything is pretty much set. Uh, my TV is only a 1080p, so I'm going to leave it at 720p slash 1080p. If you have a 4K uh, TV, you can just change the settings uh, to 1440p. Now go to OK. So everything else is set. Uh, now to load up a game. Uh, you just double click on the game and the game should start. Now I do own uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. 
and I do have my own switch. So double click it. Make sure you have your controller plugged in. And there you go, guys. There's uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Loading. Um, I'm going to leave all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.